Hi guys, as you can see here, I have two microphones, both of the blue brand. So we have the blue Yeti and the blue Snowball, and I'm just going to do a quick comparison of these. I'm not going to get too in-depth, and I'm just going to do basically commentary just to see what they sound. A couple things you should note, this is on a shock mount. What a shock mount does is it absorbs uh, transition of sound through metal. Basically, these are springs here, so it doesn't affect the audio as much. Now, there's a couple other things. On the back, we have the gain settings and the pattern settings. So gain is basically how uh, impactful the audio will be once it's recorded. So if I crank this up, it's going to be louder. If I crank this down, it's going to be quieter. The pattern, that is the direction of sound you want to record. So we have bi-directional and so forth. So I'm gonna use the third one for this, which is cardioid, which is basically just if you're just talking in front of it. The blue uh, snowball has some similar settings, it's a little different though. We have numbers here, one, two, and three. Uh, one is for single user voice or instrument. Two is for things that are louder and might cause, you know, uh, distortion. Three is for groups of voices or instruments. And I do not have a shock mount for this, but it's not going to have a big drastic effect on the actual sound and it's on the normal stand that came with it I believe. Yep. Now that audio that you just heard was recorded with the Blue Yeti and I'm going to just test that out a little bit more. So I'm gonna pick it up and I don't think it'll affect the sound too much holding it especially with the shock mount. It might affect it slightly but this is the best way so I'm not like down here like trying to talk to it. So this is on medium gain it's on the end, so you're supposed to talk directly into it, not like this or like this. Although if it's slightly tilted, it's not going to have a drastic effect on the quality of the sound. And if uh, you want it to be louder, you can either talk closer to the microphone or you can increase the gain. So now it's louder. I don't want to cause it to distort though, so I'm talking quieter. That being said, with you being this close, it can cause some problems. So I recommend a pop stopper or a pop filter or a popper stopper, whatever you want to call it. This will uh, basically reduce the impact, the force of your air. So it's going to stop P's, B's, other letters that are pop, 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 like where you blow a bunch of air out. And that's going to improve the quality of your sound. But this is not really required if you're not going to need it. But if you're going to be like, let's say, turning the gain down really low and talking like right here to get that deep sound, basically the closer you are to the microphone, the deeper it's going to sound. And uh, basically, if you're going to do this, you definitely need a pop filter because otherwise it's going to sound like this, which just doesn't sound good. So this here is the blue snowball. Now hopefully I'm at the right space from it and I'm not distorting anything. This is on number one setting on the back, which is for single user voice or instrument recordings. So basically it's like the standard. Now, if you're going to be really close to the microphone, you might want to move it to position two, which is going to lower the basically the gain. There's no gain knob on this microphone like there is for the Blue Yeti, although there is that setting to decrease the gain, I believe, by 10 decibels. So let's just hear that. So this is where it's going to decrease the gain, but that allows you to speak closer. Once again, with a microphone like this, you might want a uh, pop filter. So let me illustrate that. This is with a pop filter. Now, from what I've noticed, the Blue Yeti sounds a little louder compared to this one, but you can put it back to the standard settings, which is going to make that louder. And then finally, we have the third setting, which is going to be like for a full room, for example. That's going to sound the worst if you're doing a commentary, but if that's what you like, go for it. I mean, there's no real limitation, right? Now, overall, both of the microphones sound really great. If you're limited on money, you can go for this, but if you're looking for long run, I recommend this because I think this is more dynamic on what it can do, especially with the custom gain settings. Another feature of the Blue Yeti is it has a mute button. So basically, if you want to at any time change your audio or basically mute what's going in, you press the mute button. There's also a headphone jack, which works as its own driver. So you can record on this. If I put these headphones on with the Blue Yeti, if I can get them 
off here. That's going to allow me to hear what's going on on my computer and what's going on in real life because the audio hits the microphone, comes in through my headphones. So it's good for recording so I can hear what's going on and it's good because I can hear what's going on in my computer. The blue snowball does not have a feature like that, although it is still still pretty awesome. So yeah, dudes, I know I'm not the best guitar player ever, but you can get, like, the kind of the idea. Overall, I think the Yeti U kind of pones the blue snowball. No offense, snowball, you're good, but you're not loud enough. You're so quiet, I can't hear anything. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think. If you like it, like. If you disagree, just leave a comment, let me know what, you, what you're thinking. Uh, yeah, they're both good, though. I like them both. Thank you and subscribe.